Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the UMP45 post patch. Now, uh, as you can see here, it's actually got a navy blue digital camo. Dice kind of snuck in some camos, one for each of the five weapon classes. Uh, the L85 has a desert camo, the MTAR has an airman camo, the LSAT has a navy blue digital camo, much like this one here. The SKS has a woodland stripe camo and the UMP has this navy blue digital camo. Now a lot of guns got pretty drastic changes during the patch but I thought the UMP had one of the bigger changes and that is the maximum damage output was increased by a factor of 9 per shot. That's huge, that's almost 10 damage more per bullet. Uh, imagine the UMP pre-patch, I mean I really hated the UMP pre-patch, I know some people like the gun but Honestly, from a stats point of view and from a lot of a lot of reasons, the thing was just extremely lacking in damage output because it has a very low rate of fire at 600 rounds per minute uh, and before it was only doing 25 maximum damage. Now it's doing 34 maximum damage. That's actually heavy machine gun damage. So in close quarters, you can take somebody down in three shots. Now unfortunately this weapon got a little bit of a minimum damage nerf and also a range nerf. So its previous minimum damage was 13.75, it got reduced to 12.5 and the damage drop off range got taken down from 50 meters to 40 meters. So this thing actually becomes extremely ineffective at medium to long ranges. And when I say extremely ineffective, I'm not joking around. I've had uh, players with their backs turned to me at long ranges, and I'm, I gotta put like my entire magazine down range at them before I can get a kill. It's kind of ridiculous how little damage this thing does, and combine that with the 600 round per minute rate of fire, and the relatively poor accuracy at long range, this thing is just completely useless. So it's sort of, becomes just an only close quarters weapon. On the bright side, this gun has great hip fire, and if you put a laser sight and a suppressor on here, which is what I'm using now, you've got a close quarter weapon that doesn't show up on the mini map and that you can hip fire while doing still pretty darn good damage. And just like in real life, the UMP45 can only hold 25 rounds per magazine. This is an unfortunate uh, thing to have with this gun since it does shoot kind of slow and you do seem to run out of ammo kind of fast in close quarters. Now it's definitely capable of getting a double kill and even a triple kill if you're lucky but uh, it can be a little tricky because you only have those 25 rounds. Luckily you have an extremely fast uh, low end reload time of 1.85 seconds if you still have a round left in the chamber. So it can be good for getting you back in the fight. All right, so how does this new UMP45 with this um, really great new damage buff and uh, kind of long range damage nerf fare, how does it balance? Is it worth using? Well, it's quite interesting in close quarters. I was having a bit of fun with it. The only problem is, is when you run into some of those higher firing weapons, uh, you actually get out damaged. Even though this thing does 34 maximum damage in close range, which is huge, that's machine gun level damage, you're still getting out damaged by some of the higher, the faster firing assault rifles, the new M5K. So there's a lot of weapons that just simply out damage this weapon in close quarters. Not to mention the 600 round per minute rate of fire is again very unforgiving. If you miss one or two of those shots in close quarters up against somebody with a very fast firing weapon, which is uh, much more forgiving if you miss one shot because if something's firing at 800 and nine or 900 rounds per minute, one shot missed is not a big deal. With the UMP, one shot missed is a huge deal and is often the difference between life or death. Now here's the problem with the UMP 45. When you stack it up against the other PDWs, it does not do so well. Even though in extremely close range it has a great time to kill, you often don't see that time to kill unless you're spot on with all your shots. The MP7 quickly outdamages the UMP 45 uh, just beyond 8 meters. The M5K always outdamages the UMP 45, and those two guns right there have extremely fast rates of fire, so they're also more forgiving you don't have to be quite as spot on accurate with those weapons. 
So I like the direction that DICE has gone for the most part with increasing the damage. I don't agree with some of the minimum damage values. In fact, if you compare the UMP-45 with the M1911, which shoot the exact same kinds of rounds, the UMP-45 actually has a lower minimum damage. The M1911 has a minimum damage of 14.3, while the UMP-45 has a minimum damage of 12.5. That's almost two points below. Also, the M1911's damage drop-off ends at 50 meters as opposed to the UMP's 40 meters. Uh, so why is the M1911 doing technically more damage with the same kind of rounds? I don't think it makes that much sense to me, and I, I think they should up the UMP's minimum damage in the range drop-off a little because they've just made this gun completely useless at medium to long ranges. It just gets outclassed by everything. So when you have a weapon that's pretty much useless and outclassed by everything at medium to long range, then you have to use it close quarters. And the unfortunate thing is, is that there's a lot of guns that outclass this at close quarters at well. There's a lot of guns that uh, just make close quarters much easier than the UMP-45. A simple machine gun is easier because uh, you're still doing 34 maximum damage and uh, you've got a 200 round magazine to work with where the UMP-45 only has 25 rounds in a magazine. So you've got a lot of things working against you. I really think that this gun uh, should not have had the range nerf and I think it could use a little bit more love. For example, the aiming down sight's accuracy of this weapon is pretty atrocious at .5, whereas a lot of assault rifles have a .2 aiming down sight accuracy. That's significantly more accurate. I think this gun and a few of the other PDWs could have aiming down sight accuracies bumped up to at least .4. Now, believe it or not, the UMP-45 is actually better than it was pre-patch, and it's definitely fun to use in close quarters, especially when all your shots are on target. You can drop people very fast with that maximum 34 damage. Uh, it just isn't the most forgiving weapon, and it can be a little bit frustrating to use when you're up against equally skilled players using their weapons of choice or faster firing weapons. You're going to lose those gunfights all the time. The hip fire accuracy is nothing to turn your nose up at, and if you're in close quarters, you're going to have to run that hip fire accuracy and uh, just not go aiming down sights at all. Otherwise, you're going to lose your uh, advantage in those close quarter situations because of your extremely low rate of fire. Now, if you're dead set on using this weapon, pick your maps wisely. No Shark Canals Team Deathmatch is an excellent place for it. Uh, conquest Domination, if you're playing with some friends and can anticipate where the enemies are coming from, uh, you just need very close quarters maps. Do not run this weapon, uh, say with an engineer class out in the middle of uh, an open area and shooting at guys from medium to long range. It's just going to be completely worthless. You absolutely have to use this gun in only close quarters maps for it to be effective at all. So I encourage you guys to try out the gun, see what you think of it, see if you agree with my opinion on the, uh, the damage model, and uh, check out the new gun camo. I'm not crazy about the... Uh, navy blue digital tactical but at least it's something and it's kind of neat that dice sort of threw those in there last minute without really talking about them much and if you like gun reviews be sure to stay tuned to my channel in the upcoming days because there's going to be several more reviews coming out because a lot of guns have changed and there's going to be some new big players on the field i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time this is level cap signing off <laughs>